What's up guys, Eric the Random Automotive Bat Kid here. Today we got a treat, something I've been postponing for a while, and that's porting the intake manifold. So we got an Indy intake manifold for a dual overhead cam neon, and it needs quite a bit of work. So you can see right here through the throttle body, straight into the intake manifold, there's that lip, and that's an issue. I mean, we're getting robbed blind, so it's something we gotta fix. And the same goes for the ports on the intake manifold itself that go into the head. That, um, I'll be putting the gasket. This is just a quick mock-up, but, but you can see the port's quite crazy. I mean, I'm sure I gotta straighten it out some, but you guys get the gist of it. Basically what you'll need, some kind of grinder. And I love carbide bits. They're the greatest things in the world. Get yourself some glasses, safety glasses, a dust mask if you're gonna be in a garage like this because there's not a lot of ventilation going on here. But you'll need a compressor. Oh shit, that fell over. So let's get started. I'm going to open the, the throttle body and I'm going to use the scrub and I'm going to follow it all throughout and then I'll grind away at what whatever the scribe marks. Same with this, I'll put a, some mock-up bolts and the gasket will stay in place and then I'll go in about, about half an inch to an inch inside of the port. Actually, I did the head already. I only ported it, I gasket matched it, I didn't polish it or anything. Here's what it ended up looking like. So let me start up by scribing it out. I'll take off the throttle body and I'll start uh, grinding away at this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So this is what we got. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of a, okay. Yeah, you can see it right there. It follows all through all around. So that's what I gotta cut away. We're about halfway. Still got a little more to go. the gasket on there yet so I don't know if it's matched up perfectly yet but once you grind it all off with whatever you're gonna use whether carbide bits or I decided to step it up to this die grinder and just use the, this big motherfucker because it was taking way too long and then I followed it up with these uh, little roll sets they just make it look that much better so let's see what the gasket looks like and so here she is Look at that. You can see the channel. I mean, it could use a little more work. I may mess with it some more. We'll see. But as far as this is concerned, I'd be okay with letting that ride. 2,000 years later. Second day. Um, so I decided that... Shoot, that's gonna break. That I will be trimming it up a little more on the top left side if you guys can see that <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, it'll be beneficial and then I'll start on the actual ports so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the sharpie and I'm gonna draw all around here and then I'll hook up the throttle body back on and I'll scribe it afterwards and see what I need to cut out and I'm gonna be getting rid of some of this too. And you can see right there where I marked it. So. <laughs> so 
so this is what we got it's kind of hard to tell but I mean the lines are there so I gotta kind of assume what's supposed to be right there but other than that the rest is pretty good but it's mostly this side have the garage door closed because it gets well I mean it gets hot but the mosquitoes are worse so I just rather put up with it anyways this is what we got now so I trimmed it all up and now I'm gonna follow it up with this uh, little tree looking disc so it'll clean it all up but I don't remember if I said previously I won't be polishing it all I'm doing is uh, porting it good with that. That looks pretty cool. Alrighty. Well, glad that part's done. Time for this son of a gun. Well, all gaskets aren't created equal, so something to keep in mind. Well, Try to line it up the best I can. As you can see, the blue Kandara gasket's got a little less uh, meat than this one. This one would have been a bigger port, but that's not what we're going with, so we're putting it to this. To keep the bolts on, what I ended up doing was obviously put the bolts on to hold the gasket, right? But I used these Clico clamps because I didn't want to use nuts for every single one in just in case I have to remove it quick or whatever. So it just saves some time. Is it the right way? Probably not, but it's my way and there's always more than one way to skin a cat. So that's what we ended up with. That's what I'm going to scribe off. And that's what we're gonna grind off. Look at that. Quite a bit of work, but it's all worth it in the end. I probably won't touch. Hmm. I guess the radiator part probably doesn't matter. We'll see, I might just touch it anyways. Fuck it. That's the worst case scenario. There's plenty of meat there, so it'll just flow a little better. I guess worst case scenario is that'll leak, right? But it looks fine. Yeah, I'll probably grind it just a hair, just to make it even. Alrighty, look at all this mess. What you see scribe is what we gotta remove. It's not a lot, but it's enough. It's enough to need to do it. And I said fuck it on the radiator port too, the coolant port. Whatever you want to call it. She is. Um, I haven't put up the gasket to it yet, but uh, we will. 
So, but I went ahead and sanded everything. Anyway, so let me clean it up real quick and then uh, put the gasket and see what we got. <laughs> Here we are. There she is. Look at that. Through the top. I didn't want to go too deep in because that's where the fuel injector is. And that would be a bad day for whatever reason the seal doesn't hold up or whatever. But if you look at it from this angle, it looks pretty sweet. And everything looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna call it good. I'll clean up another day, probably tomorrow, seeing as how I kinda need to, anyways. And I did that port for the radiator fluid also, for the coolant. Anyways, that is, that's it.